Welcome to the Academy channel. Today we're going to be testing the Heart N95 respirator. This was requested by a viewer, so thank you guys for requesting. If you guys have any requests for us to test any N95 respirator, K95, or KF94, please make sure to leave them down below. We are just going to go straight to the point. These are not NIOSH approved. They should have a stamp somewhere around on their packaging and also on the uh, mask itself. It doesn't have any of the N95 requirements. So let's jump into the listing. We actually purchased these off of Walmart. These are the Heart 3-pack N95 respirators, adjustable nose. The price of these are $4.75. 470. They have a 4 out of 5 rating with 14 reviews. So we're going to go to the CDC website and see if somehow these are on the list, which I don't think that they're going to be. They don't have a TC approval number on the packaging and they also don't have a TC approval number on their listing. So I'm just going to try and see if I can find it by the name. So I'm going to go to the index, go to the letter H. I am going to do control find. And it is not on the CDC website. Let's go ahead and try these on and see how they fit on my face. And then we're going to go see the most important thing, which is the filtration efficiency of these respirators. This is how they look. It comes with some information regarding the mask. So this, this is a... Um, hard shell cup style but the construction quality of this isn't the best it's not the best material the headbands are pretty well well welded in and the material of it is actually really soft let me try it on and see how it fits this n95 is definitely on the bigger side it's definitely not in, like tight at all on my face which we do definitely want some tightness so that we know that it has proper a proper seal. I feel like it has leakage coming out ev everywhere on my face right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but I still have a huge gap on my nose even after trying to adjust the nose wire. So now I feel like it's really hard for me to breathe. I definitely am also getting some leakage on the bottom of the mask. So I would say that the size of this is probably an extra large. It fits my face really big. Now that we've tried it on my face, let's go ahead and see how they do with our TSI machine and check both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine, model 8130A, which is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to certify N95 respirators. We first start off by removing the headbands from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then, we make sure that the respirator is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. Let's go over the results. F stands for air flow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. The lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the respirator or mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for this sample was 58 0.48%. After testing these with our TSI machine, now we know why they are not NASH approved. They fill the filtration efficiency with a 58.47%. And when it comes to the pressure drop, it, tes it tested with a 22.8, which is a very high number. Most of the breathable N95 respirators stick between 10 and 12 or under. These are not the most breathable N95. It doesn't even come close to it. Overall, the price is right. They are under $5, so probably one of the most cheapest N95 respirators out there, but they aren't N95 respirators. Obviously, because of the filtration, the breathability, the quality of these, and the biggest part being that they are not NIOSH approved, we would not be able to recommend these. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and also comment down below any face masks N95 respirator, KF94 that you would like for us to test out next and I'll see you guys in our next video.